Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. Let's just jump right into this BS, shall we? Temu, T-E-M-U. This website has been all over my TikTok for you page and YouTube feed for the last, I don't even know how long, like four months. It has been absolutely everywhere. And honestly, I didn't even think to give it a look because I always saw videos of clothing hauls and houseware hauls and just honestly didn't really think much of it. But I started seeing TikToks on my for you page about beauty on Temu and I was like, Ooh, you called me? I was immediately interested, okay? And I only went to the Timu website for a few minutes once, but as soon as I got there and I saw the beauty on it, I was like, oh, I need to do a video on this because the selection and specifically price point literally blew my mind. I immediately exited out of the website because I was like, I need to film a video live shopping on Timu and sharing some of my thoughts with you guys, as well as just reacting to what they have on there. Get ready for a good dragging session. It has been a while, but I am not here to play. Let's jump into this shit. Wow, okay, so right away I am seeing under eye patches that are 80 cents. And it says over 100,000 sold. That is crazy. Normally $2, but discounted to 80 cents with free shipping on all orders, including to Hawaii. That is impressive. Cause usually Hawaii is not included in free shipping. Everything takes forever to get here and it's super expensive. It says it's a gold eye mask with collagen, which is really interesting to me because gold is not like the cheapest ingredient out there. <laughs> okay, let me keep browsing. Oh, this is interesting. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is hilarious to me because it's literally a complete ripoff of Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It's a popular cream that's sold at Sephora. A lot of people use it on their body to add a glow to the skin, but also because of the amazing smell, but they literally like ripped off the exact name, but this one is $4. It says promotion hip curve, lift firming skin, the grammar on this is not on point, but I'm not gonna be picky. And it says that the seller is from Zhongshu. I'm so sorry, I know I pronounced that so wrong. In China, so it's a China seller. Just because the product is made and manufactured in China does not mean that it's low quality. I think there's a lot of issues that we need to address when it comes to our perception of Chinese made products and the quality around them. However, for the price point that I'm seeing for a lot of these products, in addition to my own personal experience of looking at Chinese manufacturers, I have a hard time believing that there would be a lot of quality infused into these products for how low these price points are. But let's keep looking at the products. Wow, okay, so they have an eight piece lip balm set that is $4 for eight different lip balms. And it comes in like, you know, a pretty cute set with very aesthetic packaging. And you know, not gonna lie, looking at this, I'm like, wow, eight pieces for $4, like that's crazy. But here's like my first point I wanna hit on. And the first thing that came to mind when it comes to shopping on Simu, right? As much as I am all about affordability, as much as I want to recommend products to you guys that are a really good price point, at the end of the day, what you pay for is what you get. And I think when shopping on websites like this, we want to be really careful about what we perceive to be a really good deal and how that reflects on the actual quality of the products. Because I feel very fortunate through my own brand to be able to have a good grasp on manufacturing costs, product costs, ingredient supplier costs, shipping and handling, distribution, like all of these things have costs associated with them, right? Now, from my own experience with building my brand and researching manufacturing facilities, you can make really affordable skincare products if you're willing to cut the quality super, super low. And when it comes to skincare, you know what typically is first on the chopping block for quality? It's the ingredients and formulation, unfortunately. A lot of people don't realize this. The highest expenses are on the packaging and the manufacturing process. Typically, the lowest cost is the actual ingredients and formula. So basically, when you find a product that is such a low price, it's almost too good to be true. It probably is. And that is why I'm very, very skeptical seeing a set of eight different lip balms for the price of what one lip balm would be here in the USA. And that's like a low price lip balm. And with them still needing to make a profit after all of that, it just communicates to me that this formula is not high quality. And of course, price is not mutually exclusive with quality, right? There can be high price point products that are low quality, but pretty much across the board, when it comes to products that are at this low of a price, it is almost certain that Something behind the scenes is just not right. Something really sketch is going on. Here's a product, it is a jade facial roller and it is a whopping $3 and it says it has natural jade in it. Seeing a facial roller like this for $3 automatically raises a red flag in my head. Cause yes, maybe you are getting legitimate jade, but how was this jade sourced? What was that process and how are the people who are sourcing this jade 
treated? These are all the questions that are swirling in my mind, right? Wow, it's just really wild seeing these prices. I mean, no wonder people are really raving about Timu. I mean, because yeah, because to an unsuspecting buyer, like who can resist these price points? I'm not gonna hound on this for too long, but I just want to make you guys aware of what is happening when you purchase products that are this low of a price point. So a lot of you guys may not know about my history having worked for nonprofits in the past, but there was a nonprofit that I previously worked with that was started by someone who had escaped human trafficking as a child, escaped from a facility that was using forced labor by children to source raw materials and ingredients that we use in products purchased every single day. And it really opened my eyes to how widespread and huge the problem of forced labor is when it comes to the products that we use. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of this with what's been going on in the news in regards to the Congo. And I would venture to say most of the time, the lower the price point a product is, the higher the likelihood that in some capacity, forced or unethical labor was used in the production of those products. And a lot of people think it's only specific industries, but the reality is guys, it is present in every single industry. And the reason why on my channel, I hound so much on high quality ingredients is because it's not only benefiting your skin, but there's just a natural higher likelihood that these type of issues are not occurring behind the scenes. All of this is hidden super, super well. And I could literally talk for hours about this. Let me know if you guys want a dedicated video to this topic, because it's something I'm really passionate about and was a part of the building blocks of my own personal brand. But just remember, when you see prices that are too good to be true, they probably are. And if you're not being negatively impacted by them, somebody likely is. Okay, so that's my first issue going through a website like this. My second one, right off the bat, I am noticing a product that is a ripoff of a popular product here in the USA. So this moisturizer is the Blue Bu Balancing Moisturizer. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Bubble, they're a very popular skincare brand. I've reviewed them on my channel. They have the Level Up Balancing Moisturizer, which I have used and I enjoy. Same coloring, same type of font, but this moisturizer is Six dollars. My God, they even use the exact branding style, graphic design. Like this is this is ridiculous. Huge red flag. This stuff makes me so mad. <laughs> Cause while you may be thinking like, oh my gosh, I found like a super cheap dupe. I can get the same skincare benefits without having to pay the price. I can almost guarantee that the quality of formula and ingredients in this are not going to be the same. Not to mention, I think it's very unethical to rip off an exact copy of an already established brand. Like who knows how many people see this and are like, oh my God, Bubble is on here. I can finally buy the moisturizer I want, having no idea that this is a complete dupe and sketch as fuck. And maybe some people are like, oh, this is just this individual seller. Like, don't support that seller. But I have to say, we should be questioning why this type of product is even allowed to be sold on this website. Like, does that not sketch y'all out? Because it definitely does for me. You know what? Let me try searching for brands. I wonder, oh my gosh, and I'm seeing Glow Recipe. I need to see if there are dupes. <gasps> Oh my God, you guys, no way. This is, this is ballsy. This makes me so frustrated. Okay, so this is the Hoiji Watermelons Glow Sleeping Mask. Literally exact ripoff of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. Packaging looks identical. They claim to have the same benefits, but it's a complete ripoff and look at it. It's $6. Yes, I understand the Glow Recipe is definitely on the luxury side, but this is automatically sketching me out a little bit. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Should I search my own brand? brand. Oh my God. I swear to God, if there are ripoffs of my own brand on here, I'm going to start fighting. Selfless by Hiram. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm not really seeing anything. Okay. Thank goodness. See, this is when it pays off to have like a relatively smaller brand. <laughs> no one's making a dupe. Oh my gosh, though. Look at this. Care we identical to CeraVe. And it says almost sold out with almost a thousand people having this product in their cart but automatically every single product I'm seeing right here is a literal exact ripoff of a more popular or more expensive skincare brand. Like there's Laneige, CauseRx, Neutrogena, Dior, Glow Recipe, Makeup Forever. You guys, <laughs> this is just screaming bad idea to purchase from. Okay, moving on. Let me talk about another issue I have with this godforsaken website. <laughs> when you're on Timu, look at all the promotions they have surrounding the product pages. I mean, right away when I went into the website, I keep getting this pop-up that encourages using a discount code when you add your email in, right? 
That alone, not bad. But right away it says almost sold out. Another push to get you to purchase this product. It shows you how many people have this product in their shopping carts, which gives you a sense of urgency to buy this product right away so you don't miss out. It shows you the dramatic discount it has. A lot of these products being like 50 to 70% off. And from what I've seen with Timu, a lot of these products are at a constant massive discounted rate, which right away, if a product is constantly on sale, the actual retail cost of the product is what is reflected as their sales price. This one is not actually $11, it's actually $6. And lastly, it says this product is free in the Timu app. All of this bombardment of promotional savings and this sense of urgency that is immediately put on you is all a really bad sign. I am always talking on my channel about how you should be mindfully shopping. Take your time when making decisions about products. Look through the ingredient lists. These types of promotional strategies, in my opinion, are very unethical because it's pushing someone to mindlessly spend. This type of website is designed to make you purchase as much as humanly possible. And you should be very wary of websites that have this level of pushing shoving products in your face there is always some promotion that's taking place for like every product that they have on their website and that should be a red flag that should be concerning and let me talk about another issue I have if you scroll down it has sustainability at Timu so what Timu has done in order to promote that they are sustainable is show that they have planted 2.1 million trees so far because of purchases and this is not initiatives that they are doing as part of regular purchases you have the option to plant a tree Free at checkout for 25 cents. Now I can make an entire video dedicated to talking about why solely planting trees is not a huge environmental impact. Yes, planting trees can be great, but it's more so the way that this is presented in order to make Timu seem like they are a sustainable brand. I have already seen so many news reports talking about the unsustainability of Timu. I mean, ignoring the fact that they push you to overconsume and overbuy like crazy, which is probably the top worst thing for the planet. For the prices that they are selling at, there's just no way that the packaging units that they're using, that the shipping methods that they're using, or the ingredients that they're sourcing are done in a sustainable way. Proper sustainability efforts are not cheap. And while it's impossible for a brand to be 100% purely sustainable, if you want to make significant efforts when it comes to making your brand sustainable, there's just no way to do it at these prices. You know what this website actually reminds me of? This is literally like the baby of Alibaba. I swear to God which is not a great sign. That's not a good thing. <laughs> and the last nail in the coffin when it comes to Timu is actually what I discovered right before filming this video. When you search Timu, the first thing that comes up on Google is the question, is Timu a legit company? And listen to this. Timu is not accredited by the Better Business Bureau and has an average rating of two out of five stars. Many recent complaints about Timu on the BBB website says that items never arrived or if they did, took two weeks or even months to arrive. That is another massive, massive red flag. And if you go on TikTok and search Timu Horror Stories, you will find an endless amount of content of people talking about how they never got their products, the horrible experiences that they had, lack of customer service, quality of the products. The fact it has a two out of five star rating is just not a good sign when it comes to a reputable business. And all of these reasons is why I personally will just not be purchasing anything from Timu. Like the fact I was able to see all of this just within a few minutes of shopping on this website is automatically to me a very bad sign of why I would not purchase from this company and why I recommend that you don't either. And to me, it's really disappointing to see how many creators and influencers are promoting Timu as like a fun place to shop when it very clearly does not have the ethics of a really reputable or good quality retailer. Hi guys, I'm sick in bed with a fever as I'm editing this, but guess who fucking reached out to me asking to sponsor me? Timu! The irony is just uncanny and there's no way that I would ever work with them, but I just thought it was hilarious and wanted to to share. Wish me luck to get better. Now I do want to say a disclaimer on this rant video real quick. We by no means live in a perfect society. There is no perfect company, retailer, or system in place. But money talks and as important as affordability and accessibility is to me, there is a line when it comes to ethics and quality that I think should not be crossed when it comes to cosmetic products. So if you were to ask me on a personal opinion, do not buy anything off of Timu. I do not support it. I think they can do so much better and we as a collective can make a much better impact with our dollars 
others. And be wary of people or companies who are really pushing Timu products in your face. As always, remember to take it slow, shop mindfully, only get what you need, do your research and be a responsible customer because at the end of the day, it's only going to benefit you and it's definitely gonna benefit the world. And those are my thoughts, y'all. Talk about the least satisfying shopping video you've ever seen, but I just had to get on here and talk about this because it's been really irking me. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. What are your thoughts on discount websites like this? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Feel free to have a discussion in the comment section down below, but as always, keep it respectful, keep it clean. Let's have a sophisticated and educated conversation about this. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.